anyway, eh, nafas ni three. Okay. Good day, everyone. I'm Mahani Aris. I am teaching Muen at Kolej Tikatat Nam Sri Putra Ipoh Perak. The research was on using Reader's Theatre to solve reading comprehension problems. In the previous lesson, the method used was KWL chart. Since the students were mostly of intermediate and lower intermediate levels, there were three main problems observed. Firstly, the students had difficulty in understanding the important ideas in reading passages. Secondly, they had trouble with word recognition. Other than that, they were also weak in phrasing and fluency. According to Spears Willing in their paper entitled Common Types of Reading Problems and How to Help Children Who Have Them, the student's inability to decode words quickly usually corresponds with their oral language weaknesses. The student's reading difficulty is known as MRD or Mixed Reading Difficulties. Thus, the research objectives were to enable students to recognize words quickly and to improve students' phrasing and fluency in reading comprehension. So, why use Reader's Theatre? As mentioned before, in theory, reading comprehension is connected to oral language weaknesses. Hence, I believe that reader's theatres could be the method to address the problem. Gardner mentioned that reader's theatre taps the multiple intelligences of a reader and allows for multiple ways of understanding. In a more recent studies by Griffith and Rasinski and Young and Rasinski indicated that reader's theatre promotes fluency and interest in reading. Through repeated readings of the text, students increase sight word vocabulary and the ability to decode words quickly and accurately. The repeated reading allows the students to phrase sentences appropriately, read punctuation markers and read with greater ease. This fluent reading enables students to spend less time on decoding and increase comprehension. Now, let's look at the methodology and work plan of the research. First, the concept of Reader's Theatre was introduced and announced as a competition to the students. The students were then divided into groups of 6 or 10. The number of students in a group depended a lot on the script chosen for the group. Each week, new and different scripts were distributed. The students had to practice for the presentation for at least five times before the day of the presentation. By the end of the three weeks of research, the groups had presented three different scripts. The setting of the research was in the classroom. Thus, this eliminated the element of stress among students during their presentation. This is a video of the practice of two scripts chosen and the day of the presentation of Reader's Theatre. This is the practice of Group 1 and they are divided into two groups. The other part is the boys. These are the boys. They are weak students, thus they could not but to be very nervous during their presentation. This is the presentation of the first group, or the boys. What, I, what I'm impressed by their presentation is that they could read on, even though we, they make mistakes during their presentation. Just call him as the man. I should be. You make the world stronger. You are. 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 You are
For this book is Masterman, A Tale of Nigeria. This is the group of girls. The tag chosen was The Tale of China. They have difficulty in pronouncing some of the words, but everything went well by the end of practice. Today. is around 6 to 10 minutes so we could see the progress of their reading. Let us now focus on the data collected. At the beginning of the research, the students set for midterm reading comprehension examination. Data of part 3 of the reading comprehension paper was used to gauge students' reading comprehension. The result of the test is shown in figure 1. The data shows that 71% of 15 students scored between D and E. This implies that the students had very weak grasps of comprehension and very limited vocabulary. At the end of three weeks of the research, the students were given another reading comprehension test. The bar chart shows that there is a significant improvement in the students' post-test score. The results are more spread out with majority or 76% of the students scored between B and C. So, in general, since the method was implemented, it was observed that the students were more willing to find meanings of words as they wanted to understand what they were presenting. As they were given time to practice their theatre, 
Repeating of sentences was part of the practice. They became more fluent each time they presented. Consequently, it could be concluded that the method is effective with intermediate and lower intermediate students. I suspected the method could be used with advanced students as well. However, the method most probably could not be used to overcome weaknesses in decoding words in science and technology texts. Thus, it would be helpful if we could find other methods to solve such challenges. That is all. Thank you.